Well, we have result-based goals and we have process-related goals. And to be honest with you, the process goals are much more important because the results sometimes are out of your control, but the process is never out of your control. Uh, one of the things that is important to us is that we give an unbelievable effort every day in practice and we get better every day. That's up to us. You know, if we have 13 players that come to work every day, put their hard hat on, then that will occur. And then the results will follow. He's had a great offseason. I really can't ask for more, any more from him in terms of the approach that he's taken from April 2nd to now. And he, he's just been terrific. It, it's interesting when Joey, as soon as Joey moved on, uh, you know, he took a, a, a bigger role on our team, and he took a bigger leadership role. And I told him, I said, D, you could have done this before when, Der when uh, Joey was still here. You guys could play together, and you certainly. But he was kind of waiting his turn, and sometimes players do that. Uh, now Joey's gone, so he doesn't have to wait his turn anymore, and we certainly need him to step up. He's going to be a different type of point guard than Joey, so he doesn't have to do everything exactly like Joey did. You know, remember two years ago, we were standing here and you guys were asking me, how could you possibly replace Eric Maynard? And how is Joey going to do at the point when he's primarily played off the ball? And he really answered that question with his play during his junior year. Um, I think Darius is going to answer that question in a different way, uh, but, but hopefully equally as successfully as Joey did. Well, it's been night and day. Uh, not only because of the guys we've had to replace, but just because of what we did and, and working on moving on from that. But you know, no question about it, the four seniors that we lost, those guys were at the core of everything we did last year. And now as they move on, you move new guys into that core. But those guys are excited. You know, they're not scared of the opportunity. And they came here to play. And they came here to win. And they won a lot last year in really other than Bradford Burgess in maybe a secondary role. And now I think a lot of those guys are excited about moving into a primary role. I would love to have another group that has four or five seniors that uh, is, is an extremely experienced team, but we don't have that. And in college basketball, some years you're going to be young. And some years you're, you're going to have to rely to some extent on freshmen. And, and I think uh, that's going to be an exciting thing to watch this year. As big as he wants. Uh, he's, since I got here, been my favorite player that, that I coached. And, uh, you know, with all respect to the guys that moved on from last year's team, I think Brad was the best player on last year's team. So, uh, you know, we obviously need him to be that again and more. Uh, the challenge for Brad is going to be how assertive and aggressive can he be because he's always been a naturally unselfish player. He's always been a guy that, sometimes defers to those around him. But now as he looks around, he doesn't see any of the guys that have been around him for the first few years of his career. You know, he started with Eric, and he played with Larry and TJ and, and Kirill. And, and then the last year, of course, he was on the court. Our best lineup was him and the four seniors. Those guys are all gone. So we're going to need him to really step up from a leadership standpoint and you know, we need him to be a little bit selfish out there from a, from a shot selection standpoint. Uh, last year when he shot the ball 14 or more times, he averaged 26 points. We need him to shoot the ball 14 or more times and, and, and good things will happen. Well, he's going to shoot the ball a lot, uh, so you'll, you can expect to see the, shot, the, the, the shots fly from Troy Daniels. Uh, he's been terrific in workouts. Uh, we keep stats for all of our workouts. And he scored twice as many points as anyone else on our team in the workouts. Now he's got to carry that over to practice every day. And then I have no doubt that he will. And then he's got to carry that over to the game. And it may take him some time to make that transition because, let's face it, the first couple years of his career, he just didn't see a lot of time. But I think as he gains comfort and makes the adjustment to being out there a lot of the time, you know, you're going to see a lot of good things from Troy because the guy can flat out score.